Hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back in old man. <laughs> what we got here today? We have got a flapper. So we're gonna replace the flapper in our Char Griller 980, not because there's anything wrong with it, but I just wanna show you folks how to do it. I wanna take a closer look at what they're sending out for a replacement flapper as compared to what originally came with it. Um, we're gonna go step-by-step step through this. We're gonna talk about why flappers are failing. And uh, if you're cur curious what it's called, it's called a kit. Fan box silicone air shutter gravity feed. So uh, <laughs> take a look at it online. Go through what it takes to replace it. Take a look at the old one, folks. Uh, it's more of a how-to video than anything else. All right, well, let's take a look at our flapper here, folks. Uh, so uh, here's the ash can, and then there's the box. And see it right, right there? That is your flapper. That thing right there. So that's what we're going to be replacing. You can see there's no real damage to mine. And you can see it looks like we've got a couple screws up there uh, that we're going to have to replace. So let's take a look at this thing uh, online, talk about uh, some of the issues that people have had with this. All right, so why are people's flappers failing? And uh, it's, it's from fire. Uh, so one of the ways of adding smoke uh, or wood through wood chunks is you can put it in your charcoal hopper, which is right here, uh, which works very nice. And you can also put it in your ash pan. And uh, I, I think what's happening is the fire from that, because eventually that does start on fire and it gets high enough and hot enough that it melts the flapper. The flapper is right there. Uh, I've done, I'm gonna leave the links to the videos that I've done showing my use of wood chunks in here and how it hasn't affected the flapper. Now, I know it's affected a lot of other people's flappers, and uh, I, 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 I wasn't there when they failed, so I don't know how they failed. But uh, I tell you, what, let's take a look online and see what Char Griller's saying about it. So let, let's see what Char Griller's is saying. Now, this is middle of October of 21. This may change. But it says, how do, how do I cook with wood chunks? And uh, we'll just... It says, Char Griller recommends using dry wood chunks, no larger than a clenched fist, Add one, one or two chunks in the center of the ash pan. As embers from the charcoal fall into the pan, the chunks will ignite and smoke. Add extra chunks once previous chunks are consumed. Do not add more than one or two chunks at a time, or it may result in excess heat. Now, they're still telling you, as of the middle of October in 21, that it's okay to use wood chunks in your ash pan. So what I want to show you here is what the item is, because if you try and look this up under parts at Char Griller, it doesn't exist. So you, you almost have to call service or email them in order to get one of these. Uh, shipping was more than the part itself uh, in, in the Midwest, and it was 17 bucks total with shipping, but it's item number 900766. And obviously if yours is burned up, that should be a warranty issue, so they should send you one anyway. And it is called a fan box silicone air shutter gravity feed. And obviously I got one. And uh, you can see when I got an order date, I, and like I said, this is middle of October. It took me about a week to get it. I ordered it on the 1st of October. So uh, it comes with this, and then it comes with uh, some new screws and this mounting bracket. So it's uh, no instructions though. So I, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Let's uh, show you how. All right, so I started playing on the inside. I got one of these little cordless. I actually did the review for this thing. And uh, I said there are places where this actually works. And this is a good place for it. However, you can get the two of the screws that you can see. There is another one to the right there that is blind. So I remember back from installation that this is just four screws. So I'm gonna pop and see if I can pop the box off, the fan box off, and if that gets me better access. You gotta remember there is some wires in that wiring harness there, so you gotta be careful. Yeah, so those four screws are the way to go. And you can see uh, yeah, <laughs> some of the uh, gasket material stuck, but uh, I am going to take advantage of this to put new gasket material on there because I've always been a little suspect that there's air leaking. When it comes to sealing these up and getting them to uh, snuff out the charcoal, having good seals on all your gaskets are important. So this is a kind of an opportunity here to replace that seal. So now we can get into all three of those screws and uh, take our gasket out of there. All right, got the old one out and guess guess what? <laughs> There's nuts on the back of them. 
So I loosened them up and I said, what's going on here? They're not coming off. And I said, oh my gosh, are they nuts? So you gotta put your hand behind the flapper and put your fingers up in the hole underneath here and hold the nut and the nuts are gonna drop down into your fan. So then you gotta shake them out or turn them back over in order to get all three of them. That's nuts that you would do that. But uh, that's the way it is. So <laughs> let's take a look at the old one versus the new one. All right, old versus new. I'm gonna go wash this one up so we can get a better look at it compared to the new one. All right, there's the old one all washed up. Here's the new one. Uh, they both look the same. The size appears to be the same, but there is a noticeable difference, and that's the thickness. This material right here is almost twice the size thickness as, let me see if I can get them up there for you to look. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get to a different light here. All right, there in some better light. You can see the new one is, I'm going to say, double the thickness. So did they make some improvements? I think that's the same material, but it's uh, twice as thick. All right, and there's your mounting clips or whatever that is. Uh, one on the right is the brand new one. Uh, the other one is the original. If anything, it looks like the original is a little bit thicker. I might stick with the original one. All right, so... Even the screws are different. As you can see, uh, the new one's got a collar on it, whereas the old one doesn't. So I think I'm just gonna put all the new stuff on, including the, the thinner thing. I, I think maybe they uh, made it thinner to uh, compensate for the thickness, extra thickness of that uh, gasket material. I can hear someone in the background saying, well, if you don't put the original stuff on that it came with, you're gonna avoid the warranty. Folks, I avoided the warranty on this girl a long time ago. Char griller ain't talking to me. All right, can I kind of put the gasket and everything all together first before I slide it into the unit. The, uh, they're both are rounded on there. And these holes are actually bigger for that collar. So now we'll stick her into the unit and then the fun's gonna start trying to find those, uh, put those nuts on. All right, this is why I do this. I do this for you folks. You can't do all three at once. Uh, you're not gonna line up all three holes without something coming out and make sure you got yourself a magnet there to get them out, out of the box so you don't have to tip the whole thing over to get them to fall out of the fan. Fan is down there. I got a light back there to help me see the holes. I've got the first one started, and like I said, did the middle one first, and I'll do the two outside ones. Uh, having a little cordless, oh man, uh, because I, I got, I use my finger for the nut, and then the cordless just to get it started, and uh, that seems to work. All right, new flappers on. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna scrape that stuff off right there, put some new gasket right on here, and then uh, put it back together, fire it up, see if it works. All right, cleaned everything off real good. This is a um, peel and stick high temp uh, gasket. You get them on Amazon, uh, made by a company called Fire Black. But you can see it's three quarters and it's just an eighth inch thick. And then I'm gonna pop, I'm gonna just pop some holes in there so I can find my screws. I'm just gonna use a scratch off for that. And then uh, we're gonna put our box back in. All right, got the box back on there. Everything snug down real nice. I have not closed this up yet. As you can see, there's a connection in there. And if there's gonna be any issues with the fan not running, uh, that could be it right there. So I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna do that and make sure the fan runs and all that. I got that open down there. And uh, that'll be it. All right, got it up and running. No error code, that's good. Fan's running. Let's uh, take a look on the inside. All right, you can see the flapper there. Let's uh, press the button here. Flapper works. You know, I never looked at the old one to see if it did that too. So now if you're wondering how would that get burned, well, the flames on that, if, you, if you've got your um, a fair amount of chunks or if you put your chunks on top of some ash or you didn't put it in the center or as far away from that flapper as possible, that could catch some flame, no, no doubt about it, when it's running, when it's, when it's off, you know, settles right back down to where it belongs. So, um, Got the new flapper on, folks. I, I don't know what else to say other than I hope this was helpful for those of you who have to go through this uh, little step-by-step. -step, uh, I'm going to be doing some more cooking on the Char Griller 980. Hope you enjoyed this. Thumbs up, leave a comment, and as always, folks, uh, I really appreciate you watching. Thank you.